Welcome to database. In this video, we will learn about dependent data validation. What is dependent data validation? Let us suppose that I have two different columns. First is the name of the country and the second is the name of the city. If I have changed values in this name of country, the automatically the corresponding values should change in the name of the city. Here we have country names India, USA, UK, China, Australia. So if I have selected India then there should be city names of India in this column. If I have selected USA then the city name of USA should reflect in this cell. So for doing this we will use indirect function. We will create different list. First is the country name. Second the city name of India, city name of USA, city name of UK, city name of China and city name of Australia. And we will define all these names by their corresponding names. Here we will select it like country name, So we have created names here. We also can create this by using this tab formula define name. You can write the name here like India and select it from here to here. So it will create a name list. Now we will create data validation. First is the name of the country which is simple. We will use, we will go in the data, then it is data validation. Here we will select list and we will select the name in the list. So here we see that the countries, name of the countries are reflecting in B2 cell. India, USA, UK, China, Australia. Now we will use indirect function. Again we will create a data validation. We will go in the data then data validation. Here in the list column We will use formula indirect and we will reference cell B2 that is the name of the country and we will press OK. Now we see that it reflects a list of city names which correspond to the Australia, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth. Now let us suppose that I have changed this value to India. Now we check that the value in the cell C2 has already been changed. All the names in the drop down list has been changed. Now it is Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai and Kolkata. All the cities belongs to India. So in this video we have learned that how to create dependent data validation. It is very easy. You can read it on my blog also. In the blog, I have narrated two different ways. First is the indirect and second is the offset function. In both the ways, we will create, we can easily create data dependent data validation. 
it is just the second level we can also create a third level data validation also by the same way hope you like this video would request you to share this video to others also so that other people can also learn from this video thank you for watching